so this video is on on five things that I have difficulty doing and these are just everyday things and I'm just doing this video to kind of raise awareness especially with the young onset Parkinson's we uh, we look like we can do a lot of things and we, c we can still do a lot of things but I don't think people realize that it's the everyday things that we can't do so much um, or rather that we have to learn how to do differently and these don't seem like big things but when every every day you have to like struggle with doing things that you used to do automatically it can come very frustrating and can come very draining and it's not that we can't do these things but like I notice in particular I have trouble with the initiation of the movement once I make the movement I can do it so I'm just gonna like look away from the camera a lot today in this video so I can grab my props <laughs> and hopefully you can see everything okay so this is one thing that I have trouble with doing and these are things I had trouble with doing before my diagnosis but I didn't even think about it to tell a doctor these things I think like like for me I started to not be able to do things but I didn't recognize that I wasn't able to do it and I kept like making accommodations on everything so I you know I, I didn't really tell a doctor until I realized that I had Parkinson's and that I did have problems doing these things okay so this is a light bulb and I really have problems like screwing things in to a socket so I'm not slowing this down this is actually how I do it um, because while I'm filming this I can't think of what to do to get this light bulb in that hole so I'm trying and this also demonstrates slowness of movement my movements very slow just because I can't think okay so once I get it in there I can turn it and again I'm not like this is how I turn things I can't seem to make the movement smoother to for it to go around I used to be a lot worse at this okay so I did get it in there but it probably took a lot longer than um, you know someone else that didn't have Parkinson's would do it okay my other prop is this cardigan hopefully you can see this so I have a lot of problems like putting different articles of clothing on and again it's not like I can't do it or need assistance it's just that I've had to rethink in my head how to do it differently so anything I put on like a jacket or a coat I just can't for some reason put on and it's like the movement problem that I was telling you about also like the stiffness and rigidity but I can do this like this is how I put everything on I kind of have to like, and it hurts, lift my arms up like this and put it on like this. I have no clue, but I cannot put it on smoothly. Once I get it on, I'm okay. The other problem that I have is buttons. And like, I'll wear a lot of these like cardigans like this, but I won't button them. And you hardly ever see me in a shirt that you would button because, oh my god, it would take me all day to button and, and in some cases I couldn't even do the button. These buttons aren't too bad, they're like bigger ones, so I'm going to button right now. And again, I'm not like slowing this down. I have problems remembering how to button so this these aren't too bad this is like pretty quick for me so once I do one sometimes I can get a little bit better but see I'm kind of like stuck now <laughs> and yeah so it will take me quite a while. 
the unbuttoning, I don't know. I think I can do that, which is kind of weird. Like, I can button, but I, I mean, I can't button, but I can unbutton. But that's what Parkinson's is like. And you'll notice when I'm taking this cardigan off, I do the same thing. I just can't take it off. I have to take it off this way. Then I think the last thing I have to show you is my wallet. Because I have a lot of problems getting things out of my purse. It's kind of like, you know, like a lot of times you'll see an older person and they're taking long in the grocery line because they can't move fast enough. Well, it's exactly like this, except I'm younger. So a lot of people get really frustrated. So this is my wallet and I don't know if you can be able to see, but I'm going to try and take some, some change out and maybe I'll try and take some money out. And I'll try and take a card out maybe. You see, take a card out, that doesn't really matter. Okay, this is an old, like, some kind of savings card. So, I think I can show you, like, I'm stuck right now. I can take it out, but I'm very slow and it's not smooth. I can put it in okay. Now I'm going to take like a dollar bill. I have to take a dollar bill out of here. I'm not slowing this down. This is how slow I do it. And it's like I can't grip it. My fingers are so rigid that I have um, problems with most small movements. And most people with Parkinson's um, have this kind of problem. So I'm going to put it back on there. I mean, it doesn't look bad, but this, this is taking time. Now I'm going to take some change out. Maybe I can do that a little bit better. But most of the time, the same thing. I, I can't grasp the penny that good or any kind of coins. But eventually, I'll be able to do it. And it seems like after, like, I do it a few times, I do it faster. I notice that with the videos too, like that in the beginning I'll be in like, it looks like slow motion and then towards the end of the video I'll speed up. But that might have to do with my medication working better at the end of the video. Okay, so that's just like a few things that don't seem like a big deal that, um, but they just demonstrate things that I have difficulty with. Mostly we have difficulty with everyday things. Um, oh, I forgot one thing. Cleaning. There's lots of problems I have with cleaning. I can clean, but I've had to um, work with the occupational therapist to show me how to be more efficient. And the problem I have is like wiping. So if I have to wipe something, I can't flex my fingers. And I can't, like, this is like taking great effort to make these circles. So I have a hard time wiping. So um, she had me use like a stick cleaner, like a stick with a brush. And I do that, but it, it's still hard to clean, but I do clean. So anyway, yeah, I just thought I'd give you a few things just to demonstrate what we can and can't do. And I will talk to you guys later.